Alafia. Alafia. <laughs> this is Ia Oya Wumi and my brother. And this Aki Ajela. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, as of late, a few people have been coming to me talking about taboo and bringing up taboos and the importance of taboo. And I wanted to address taboo from the traditional Nigerian aspect. It's been, um, you know, uh, said that uh, taboo is not as important, but it's vital to one's life. And before I get started in speaking on my thoughts on taboo, um, I would like my brother here to speak about it from the traditional way and what Ifa speaks about taboo and Orisha. Oh, yeah, we taboo is very, very important in woman's life because if you don't know your taboo you may just be doing things reckless even your life may not be smooth and then all these taboo is not all of them that that kill but some of them are killed as well and then some of them are destroy life even you may be working then you lose everything you are doing mm -hmm. you may not get the wife you may not get the husband you may not see good job that is taboo the work of taboo mm -hmm. uh, when we are talking about taboo we have various kind of taboo we have taboo from the family we have a uh, individual taboo we have a uh, taboo for each Orisha devotees, then uh, we have a uh, uh, taboo for the town. We also have taboo for the community. Mm -hmm. We also have taboo for the group, like a society. It's like an Egbe? Like an Egbe. Mm -hmm. We have the taboo in there. Let's go straight to, to taboo for the family. When we are talking about the family, we are talking about father, mother and then the children mm -hmm. from this taboo there will be the taboo for the for the compound of the father maybe for example their compound did, didn't eat uh, 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 didn't eat snake some some family didn't eat a, a giant rat some some family didn't drink palm wine some family kind of things that the family didn't do maybe their family didn't wear white clothes maybe they didn't wear red clothes that is from the family so i have a question so since a lot of us here in the diaspora were taken and stolen we don't know a lot of people don't know their family taboos um so uh if that is broken it can cause issues for that family generations but you don't know that is broken yeah. how can you determine will it come up in divination or or uh initiation how does how does one determine that because for example um <clears throat> again just like you were saying some food taboos or colors this family it, alcohol could be taboo for yeah. this family and the family could be full of alcoholics and then they're suffering and blah 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 and there's no success in this particular family you know, so that they could be breaking it. But how do you find out the the taboo? The oh, family? we can find out in some various way. For example, like a reading, we can mm -hmm. find out in reading. We can find out in when someone is doing the eshentai, during the 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 child born, the third day of the the born the child called Esentaye, we can find out there. Then we can find out through initiation. When someone do the initiation, we can find out through that. Because, and then all this taboo, when someone gets initiation, mm -hmm. it, that person stand on his own. He may be follow the family taboo. It's very important to follow the family taboo. And then he himself will have his own taboo during the initiation that one is also separate more taboo. separate 
for the family taboo. Sometimes this self taboo it may be the same to the parent and family taboo sometimes, but it may be sep it may be separate as well too. But when you, when someone gets initiation, he or she will know more about the taboo, about himself taboo, about that Orisha taboo. Because just only few Orisha have three kind of way of taboo. Okay. For example, in when you initiate to to Orumila, which is Ifa as well. Uh, we just have uh, a general taboo and then uh, the, the taboo of, uh, uh, of the person. But in Shango initiation, you have the general taboo, your own personal taboo, and then uh, the, the odu that comes out for you, you have the taboo. For it, Shango have that. That is how why Shango taboo is different and it's along oh. from each Orisha okay. because you have general taboo for all the Shango devotees and then the food for the Shango then we have Pasana your own taboo that it's it, yeah, it come out in your ita. no you know oh, not it's ita. Ah. for your own Pasana your own life that is come from heaven for wow. you okay. and then you will still have your Odu in your Ita Okay. We still have the taboo of that, okay. but some or, some other Orisha didn't have that. They just have general taboo and the Odu taboo. That is why Shango and some other Orisha like Oya too. Oya they too have right, a, yeah. a, a, a three taboo as well. Mm -hmm. I think Iemoja uh, 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 also have two. Then yeah, that is Oshun. Oshun, Oshun. Oshun just have uh, uh, like. Other Orisha didn't have the, the personal taboo as well. We don't have personal taboo. Yeah, that's how the taboo goes. You can have the taboo from the family. You have the taboo from your own self. You have the taboo from the community. You have the taboo from the society. You have the taboo from town. You have the taboo for your own Orisha. And then uh, you have the taboo <coughs> all entirely. For example, we have in Oshogo, Oshogo town, mm -hmm. we have the taboo of the guinea corn. Guinea corn, right? Yeah, we can never mm -hmm. eat guinea corn. Either you are priest or you are not a priest. Either you are Olorisha, you are not Olorisha. Guinea corn is taboo in Oshogo town. Interesting. And I saw them selling it there. That's interesting. And then, now, people thing are is, breaking taboo. People are breaking taboo mm -hmm. and it's a affecting their life. Mm -hmm. This taboo is very, very important. Either you are a priest or you are not a priest. Guinea corn is, a, is very, very taboo in Oshogbo. Every Oshogbo indigenous, every Oman Oshun, every Oshun, uh, Oshogbo child. Guinea corn is a taboo mm. for them. Then, uh, 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 in, in some area, in some town too, they have their own taboo. Maybe the dog can never enter into their house. Mm -hmm, that is mm -hmm. also some taboo mm -hmm. in their fam in some family. If the dog enter into their house, it will just die immediately. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like taboo. extension of Obatala taboo. So, exactly. So that maybe the head of the, the Orisha head of that town, it may be Obatala, uh, you know. Yeah, it could, it could be in some 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 towns too. There is a town in 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 Osho State too. They don't. Nobody can have a dog in that town. Mm. Nobody can have the dog in some areas too. In different area, the the they, they don't have uh the, the, the there is a kind of animal they can offer. Even in some uh, there is a one place also in Oshobo the the ram. The, the lamb mm -hmm. can never mm -hmm. enter to that street or to that community. It will die mm -hmm. immediately. That is the taboo. That is taboo. Also implicable that this kind of animal that we are saying that children of that house should not eat it. Mm -hmm. It's also taboo mm -hmm. of the family. Then 
after the taboo from the family we have the taboo you you personally yourself you have your own taboo you have your orisha taboo when mm-hmm. maybe you, when you are in community there will be a taboo for the okay ah this community we should not be wearing red cloth or we should not be wearing that is society community in a group that is another taboo that you may not break if you break it maybe they will find you or they will remove you from the community mm-hmm. that is how taboo is very very important in woman's life it is it is important taboos are constructed it's like your it's like personal laws yeah you know and if they're broken there are definitely consequences taboos are are there put in place to better your life to move forward yeah if you break them it's consequences yeah it's it's severe consequences i mean even death and it's that simple it could be again something you wear something you eat something you drink some you yeah. know sometimes pe- i know people that cannot bathe in the river yeah. at all it cannot bathe in, you know they have to honor those river spirits mm-hmm. that's in the river it's it's so many it's so many um taboos i mean it's millions millions of taboos yeah. um for people uh for example and this came from um I don't want to say her names, but she know who gave this story. It was a man who was suffering from schizophrenia, and um, he he went. His sister had went for divination on his behalf, and coming to find out, he was breaking a family taboo. And one of the family taboos was he cannot climb trees. They did ebo medicine. The schizophrenia went away. He started living like a normal man. Years later, this man climbed in a tree. It came back. It came back full, strong, like full, more full force. He, his, his family, his self, you know, him, they did the work again. It's been 20 plus years since he's broken that taboo. His life has been normal. So a lot of even mental illness, what you think is mental illness may not be mental illness. Yeah. It could be a breaking of a taboo. The ori is not in agreement to something, you know, something that you're breaking. Skin all, skin illness could be you're breaking a taboo. Yeah. Um think you always in car accidents for some reason. It's a you're breaking a taboo possibly. I'm not going to say, you know, that's 100% what it is, but a reason why our life uh, people life can be out of order. You're breaking taboos. So it's important to get in and get inquire, uh, uh, inquiry uh, about that. It's very important. So investigate, go yeah. in, investigate. So even when you go into a qualified Olorisha or Babalawo to investigate this properly, what are your taboo? You know, even if you're, you're not ready for initiation yet, you can still find out these things. Um, what you may need to stay away, uh, what you may need to do. Mm-hmm. This is very important. So that's my advice. Yeah. As a Olorisha Yanifa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have any questions out there, please leave some comments for the video. Any oh, yeah. questions for the video and anything else, any other topics that you may want us to talk about. We're here for you. Okay. Ile Arura and Ile. Ewe Ah, Ashe. <laughs> Oh, double.